Good morning, guys. Welcome back to G Made CNC. It's about uh, 7 30 in the morning here. Um, and my morning ritual is come in, get both machines turned on, and I run about a 10 minute warm up program on the mill and the lathe. Now, I've seen uh, one or two videos on guys warming up their mill. Um, but I haven't seen anything on the lathe, so I figured I'd throw this video together and walk you through how I do it and uh, show you the code that I wrote and why I wrote it the way I did. Um, if anyone's interested in the code uh, for themselves, uh, please shoot me an email and I have no problem sending it to you. So let's get this turned on. few seconds so while we're waiting for that um, if any of you guys have seen my past videos um, you know a few of the upgrades stuff that I've done the mat uh, bar pull and stuff um, this is just another helpful hint a tip this is just a drawer mat for a toolbox uh, I can get it hardware free for I think five to ten bucks for a whole roll and uh, I was using a bucket over here to catch bucket and uh, it worked but the problem is once I started filling up with shavings parts were bouncing out of it and I was digging them out through the bottom here and uh, yeah like I said it worked but this idea that I've been using uh, seems to work better for me um, at the end of the run you just sweep up whatever parts anything that just didn't make in the middle and uh, I pick them up and I just put it down on a rag and I just let it drip dry and then I'll pick it up and I'll put it on a bench and I can sort through all the shavings and everything pull my parts out like a human being instead of being humped over inside the machine uh, trying to sort through you know everything and, um, and then when I'm done I just take it to the garbage shake it out and then uh, put it back in here and I'm ready to go for the next run um, and if you got a whole bunch going on, you could just pull this out, let it sit on a rag, towel, something like that, drip dry, and then stick another one in here, and then continue your run. But, yeah, just a helpful tip. Uh, what else? Um, any of you guys that have done the collar closer upgrade? Um, I've got a little window in the side of this, a little opening, uh, so I can get access to the uh, regulator and check the pressures. This is just a piece of um, Lexan that I just spray painted and just put a bolt here uh, what else now, this is a Delrin just plug um, I've got them in several sizes and uh, they just pop in this back here and it just stops apart from flopping around so, just a couple of helpful tips alright so we've got this turned on okay So I'll just ref it. Alright, the first thing I do is I'll go to my master tool, which is tool 7 for me. Okay. Back to main. And then I have the program uh, set for G59 offsets, so I don't mess with any of my uh, G54s that I've used. So, G59, okay, as you can see here, swapped over to G59. Okay. So now, G59, we do, and once you do it for the first time, it'll be stuck in your uh, MDI here, so, uh, G00, X, negative 15 and an eighth, Z, negative 8 and an eighth, and what that's going to do is just bring my master tool down here, 
So, but before we do that, just zero out the DROs that it's home. Okay, now. Now it's set. As you can see, fifth, negative 15, an eighth, eight, and an eighth. So now we zero these two out. So now this is our home position. And the reason we do that is in case you had a part here um, or just any obstruction, we know that there's going to be no issues during the warm up. And I wrote the program so that this is zero and it goes. 15 plus and then 8 plus back. So, open up our warm up code. Okay, just reference it home. Let's go through the code real quick. Um, as you can see, work offset G59. Um, tool 7, if it wasn't called, it'll call up. Um, it starts off spindle speed at 500 RPMs, and then it goes down from position where it is now down to zero that we set before. Uh, 20 inches a minute, um, then it retracts 20 inches, and then the next run it's 30 inches a minute, 40, and so on. And it just keeps ramping up slowly. Um, so does the RPMs, the 750, 1000, and etc. And it keeps doing that and it ramps up slowly. I've seen videos and guys, you know, they turn the machines on and they go full bore right away. Uh, it just didn't make sense to me. Um, the machines have been sitting all night, they're ice cold. Um, even stuff as the ball screws, you know. Um, you know, the oil drips down overnight, so if you go full bore, there's no oil on anything. Um, so by starting off slow, the bearings, the ball screws, the motors, uh, even the spindle bearings and stuff, they, they slowly ramp up and uh, get the oil all over them. They start warming up slowly instead of just full bore. Um, you know, it's like starting up a car, you wouldn't, ice cold, you wouldn't start it up and uh, just floor it, you know, and hold it there. At, I don't know, 5,000 RPMs for 10 minutes, you know. Um, you need the oil to get throughout the whole machine, or the engine, I should say. So that's why I wrote the program the way I did. And uh, we'll run through it real quick. All right, we got that all set. So let's hit cycle start, and we'll see this thing uh, run through its process. <laughs> So it's moving at 20 inches a minute right now on 500 RPMs. Jump the tripod here. Now it's 30 inches a minute, then it'll go 40 inches a minute, and then the RPMs will jump to 750. 
and so on until it gets to rapid speed and then it uh, it runs at speed till the end of the program. We'll speed up through this. We'll get back to it when it's done. As far as the code, if you guys, um, if I email it to you, the only thing you'd have to change is uh, your tool, honestly. Um, whatever your master tool is. Uh, the reason I suggest that is because now that it's done its warm up, the first tool I'll be using is my master tool um, to do an offset to whatever part I'm gonna cut. Um, and then I just generally Come back in here, G54, and uh, now I'm back to my uh, regular work offsets. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Um, if you guys got any questions, please comment below. Um, you can follow us on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Uh, I'll be doing one on the uh, mill as well, um, so you can look for that video. If you guys don't have a lathe and you got a mill, you could. See how I do it on the mill as well. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys soon.